Right, this took a long time, but I got a sock that kind of fits. I want it above the ankle still. It's a little tight putting it on around here. I'm not gonna de I'm not gonna decrease anymore, that's for sure. Just try to wrap it around. But it's a sock that fits and it breathes really good. Could be a good like summer sock. I just want to say I like how they've done this. You could barely tell that they put vinyl on this. Very nice work. They put vinyl over their window. All right, so these batteries cost uh, about five dollars. I've never seen these stickers before. I don't buy these batteries very much. It's for this old thing I got uh, back in 2010, 2011. It has a screw which I set aside. It's kind of a, a hassle. And then to get the size, I, I just needed to read the top. What does that say? 2032 is the size. That's what these batteries are. They're not easy to get to. I really have to, I gotta cut into this plastic they made it really difficult put the warning symbols and then uh, he had a cut pretty deep to get in there all right it still works the reason I got it is for this infrared I wanted to uh, have it for reading possibly the old energizer put it on my hat bill and should be a good reader how is it that the life appears to be taken from these strawberries when they're fermented? But this watermelon can stay as red as it wants to. All right, apparently behind the Walmart here, there's a big garage sale. It's normally an auction barn. Uh, I guess you need to go inside. There's not a lot of cars <laughs> But they do have yeah, it says a yard sa sale up there All right first impressions of this crochet sock uh, I had it on my right foot switched to my left Largely because it was rough on my right foot. My right foot was getting itchy and it was feeling like I was walking on the gravel like right outside Like I didn't even have shoes on And then I switched it to my left foot and uh, my left foot feels the immediate uh, gravelly feeling But it's not as bad. My right foot is in worse shape. Yeah, I got, I got a fungus that I've been just taking care of for many, many years on my right foot. And it gets itchy. It got actually itchy while uh, wearing the sock while, my, while the bottom of my foot was getting itchy. I was feeling an extra itch in that fungus, fungus area between the toes. But then I switched. I switched uh, foots. And that itch went away when I got back to the soft sock. So uh, it seems like, um, it seems strange that cotton can feel like walking on the ground. It feels so rough. It could be because it needs to be broken in. But it's, it's cotton. It's supposed to feel soft, I thought, but it doesn't. And that's that's good. I kind of welcome that. I welcome that it feels rough. So I was debating to make another one. It takes a long time. I think I do want to make another one because I like that roughness. I think my feet should be getting exposed to rough, rough walks, rough surface. And this stuff, this is a 3.5 cotton at Walmart. This is pretty good. Um, I like the holes the way they are. I don't need it to be really like fully and in, in fully enclosed. I like the holes for the the breathing of the air and stuff. Very interesting feel though. Um, it would be quite a, it would be quite a challenge to go a whole day with 
wearing two crochet socks with a 3.5 cotton, it would be quite a challenge. If you walked a lot and didn't take a lot of breaks, because the roughness is, a, is quite a challenge. It's like challenging yourself to walking barefoot on the gravel all day or something. All right, I'm gonna make another scarf. I'm using four of these, one white. It's gonna give a bit of a mottled pattern. I want a 10 inch wide, which is about what it's uh, planned out to be. And then 70 inch long scarf, because I feel like I can put one around my neck and also one around my waist. All right, I set my sights on McDonald's from Walmart for a walk. And I thought there was a side road, and it looks like I am wrong. All right, so just got to deal with this bridge. I find the the road above unpleasant, and it, I ask, is there even any water? It looks like there's evidence, possibly. Oh, look at that! That is, wow! That is just too much. To jump over. Too bad somebody didn't put a bridge under the bridge in some way. Dang it. That's too wide. That's just too wide for my abilities. How frustrating. Wow, this this uh, I could maybe make if I stepped off just perfectly in the right spot. Oh my god. You can barely tell. Yeah, I'd have to clear that grass so I really know. And then I would just kind of sail down Whew, and probably take damage on the fall. So not far from this bridge, somebody was camping a long time ago. This is a backpack, emptied of course, jacket, <clears throat> very, everything's very dry, big spider, can that be seen? One of them hunting spiders. And then, oh, a tent stake? Okay. I was going to say, then over here is a tent. They had that tent stake over here, though. They're pretty separated. Dang it. They got this tent. They may have been living on the same person. Looks about the same time frame for the, the type of, ow! The type of wear. And oh, a bunch of garbage in there. It's probably everything's pretty much dry. I had a blanket. Oh, see how bad that is. This is probably at least a good five years. Somebody's tent. And uh, I think people have been through here before, taking what they want. This person left everything. Yeah, that tent is in no good shape. And what the heck is some just some kind of is this handmade? This is handmade, I think. They made a some kind of a handmade uh, either crochet or knitting style with a picture. I can't make out. Is it backwards? Still can't make out what the heck that is. What is that thing? Looks like pincers and, a, and an in, eye of an insect. Maybe it's a giant ant of some kind with flowers and wearing some, uh, some kind of a crown. A lot of embroidery, a lot of it's a combination of embroidery and and knitting or crocheting with this blanket. And that's about it. All right, back a little further. It's a church. Oh, they open up the fence there. That's neat. All right. Um, looks like there's been quite a bit of activity. Probably homeless activity. It's a nice. What is this? A rug? That's. What is this? You tie it off? 
Oh my god, somebody weaved garbage bags, like shopping bags together to make this. <laughs> How do you do that? This is uh this is pretty sturdy. Take it apart and you see labels. I don't understand why they put this together, but somebody weaved this stuff. That takes some it takes some skill. It's in really good shape, of course. Shopping bags are supposed to last a lifetime. Wow, this has got some strength to it too. Let me, uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, that's not easy to rip. Wow. So that was their pad. Man, I, they kind of like to know how to do that. And then I was going to talk about this over here. Looks like people might have been possibly bathing. It's not exactly clear, so I don't know how deep that is. But it's blocked off by this fallen tree and, and covered by leaves. And then, of course, yeah, there's an old tree house. That thing was probably from the mid-1900s. Hmm. All right, so I cut off this because I want to see like how they attach the, each shopping bag to each other. Because I'm pretty sure this is a, cro a work of crochet. All right, that can't be. I know how to crochet. And then they were not, were they? Oh, is it just a gust of wind? Were they knotting, knotting each shopping bag together? How did they knot this from end to end? I would guess end to end, but I just play with this. See, this comes undone like crochet, like slip knots. That's what I make when you crochet. You can just pull one end and make it all come undone. Ah, here we are. Looks like a little knot. They might have knotted bags together there. Oh, reached an end. All right, so they seem to have cut the shopping bags into strips of two. And then knotted the ends together about foot one foot sections I don't know how they now I wonder how they how are they making shopping bags how are they cutting shopping bags in the strips because you could see some well just read the advertisement they're doing it sideways so they were cutting the shopping bags sideways kind of so that it was so it was extra wide and then from there cutting strips of about two inches each man that's some labor so about foot and a half in length is what you can the best you can get out of a shopping bag and then two inches wide and then using two strands they were tying end to end and see there's another double strands to an end so how many strips can you get out of each shop this so that was that would avoid the handles you don't have to deal with those handles see this this would be a yeah a double strip there and just knotting it that's uh this took a long time this took a long time and a lot of bags and a lot of cutting a lot of labor so uh, down from the church you know, I can't say that they did the work here for that mat. But it ended up here. Can't say that only one person worked on it. But it definitely, it was completed and left behind as though it was not, not important enough to bring along. That's, that's pretty fascinating work to me. Since I just started getting into crochet, 